Hat, sunglasses, Pepsi, notes, sources, thick skin, check. You already know. Let's go. Welcome to Golden Blue today, everybody. This is the College Football Channel. So if you like college football, hit the like and subscribe button. It's that simple. Also, send gear to represent your team and be a part of my background forever. All you have to do is send it to P.O. Box 360, Liberty, South Carolina, 29657. Well, I guess I'm doing a video in a car for this one. Yeah, that's right. Another busy day for Golden Blue Dude. I'm in the car line waiting on my kids. So uh, let's do a video real quick. I wanted to talk about the possible upsets for Week 9 and how they could happen. Let's talk about the first one. This could be the biggest one as far as how it affects the playoffs. Number two, Ohio State at number 13, Penn State. Ohio State is a 15 and a half point favorite. Ohio State averages 49.6 points per game, which is second, and allowing just 14.9 points per game, which is fifth. Penn State, on the other hand, they're averaging 33.4 points per game, which is 39th, and allowing 18.9 points per game, which is 20th. The only problem is uh, Ohio State really hasn't been tested. Uh, the best teams that they've beaten so far, Notre Dame, Wisconsin, Iowa, I don't know. But for Penn State, they've been tested just a little bit more. On the road to Purdue, on the road to Auburn, and yes, I know Auburn's a terrible team, but that's still a road trip, and it was early in the season, and they obliterated Auburn. And then, of course, Minnesota. That was a decent win. They also went on the road and got absolutely blasted by Michigan. And that's the reason why I think most people don't think that Penn State has a chance in this game. I actually think they do have a chance in this game. This is Ohio State's biggest test to this day. It's going to be on the road. I think it's going to be whiteout conditions. And Penn State is good enough to upset Ohio State at home. I give the chances of Penn State actually upsetting Ohio State 70%. I actually think it's likely. I might end up eating my words, but that's okay. The next game that could be a possible upset, and I'm saying this begrudgingly, number seven, TCU at West Virginia. TCU's a seven and a half point favorite. Right off the bat, that's that's a low spread. I thought TCU would be a two touchdown favorite. TCU averages 44.7 points per game, which is fourth, and allows 26.7 points per game, which is 70th. West Virginia averages 34.9 points per game, which is 31st, but allows 33.7 points per game, which is 118th. But the thing that allows this to be a possible upset is because even though TCU is undefeated, they were down big at home, both to Oklahoma State and to Kansas State. Their defense isn't good, and this is a road trip. Those are three factors that come together that lead to a possible, not probable, a possible upset in Morgantown. The chances I give West Virginia of upsetting TCU, about 30%. Not good. The next possible upset. Notre Dame at number 16, Syracuse. But Syracuse is only a two-point favorite. Notre Dame is averaging 26.6 points per game, which is 82nd, and allowing 21.9 points per game, which is 35th. Decent defense. Syracuse is averaging 33.9 points per game, which is 37th, and allowing just 15.1 points per game, which is 7th. They do have a good defense. Now, the thing that makes me think that Notre Dame could pull this upset is, even though they've lost to Marshall and Stanford, those are terrible losses, and a close-ish loss to number two Ohio State to start the season, they do have wins at North Carolina and against number 16 BYU. This is when BYU was humming. Notre Dame has beaten some good teams. Notre Dame could go on the road and beat Syracuse. Chances I give Notre Dame of actually upsetting Syracuse, I'm going to say this is a 50-50 football game. And the line reflects that. The next game is Stanford at number 12, UCLA. UCLA is a 16 and a half point favorite in this game. Stanford averages 25.1 points per game, which is 92nd, and allows 27.4 points per game, which is 76th. UCLA averages 39.9 points per game, which is 14th, and allows 25.9 points per game, which is 66th. The only thing that makes me consider this as a possible upset is because one of Stanford's wins, few wins, was at Notre Dame when they were a 16 and a half point underdog. And they're a 16 and a half point underdog in this game. That one factor gives them a shot at an upset here. Chances of Stanford actually going on the road and upsetting UCLA? I'm going to say 40%. I think there's a chance. The next game, number 10, USC at Arizona. USC a 15 and a half point favorite. USC is averaging 40.4 points per game, which is 12th and allowing 22.1 points per game, which is 41st. Arizona is averaging 31.6 points per game, which is 55th, not terrible, but allowing 36.3 points per game, which is 124th. 
That is terrible. Now, really, the only thing that makes this a possible upset, number one, it's a home game for Arizona. Number two, when Arizona was hot to start the year, they looked pretty good. And on top of that, I do think the Pac-12 has a curse. So I think it's possible that Arizona could upset USC. But the actual chances of Arizona upsetting USC... I'm going to say 25%. Not much of a chance at all. The next game, this upset would have a major impact on college football and the playoffs. Number 19, Kentucky at number 3, Tennessee. Tennessee, a 12-point favorite. Kentucky averages 26.4 points per game, which is 83rd, and allows 16.4 points per game, which is 9th. Tennessee averages 50.1 points per game, which is number 1 in the nation, but allows 23.1 points per game, which is 51st. So it's going to be a really good defense, Kentucky, versus a really good offense, Tennessee. So that matchup right there lends the possibility of an upset. This is a road game for Kentucky. On top of that, running back Chris Rodriguez for Kentucky is back. He's a massive part of this offense. And Kentucky likes to slow the game to a crawl. Tennessee likes to go at a breakneck speed. So if Kentucky can control this football game and run the ball effectively with Chris Rodriguez, I actually think they have a good shot at beating Tennessee because they do have a good defense. Chances of Kentucky actually upsetting Tennessee? I'm going to say 40%. That's not high, but it's actually a pretty decent shot. Oh, and don't forget, you could consider this a trap game for Tennessee because next week they go on the road to number one Georgia. Just something to keep in the back of your head on that one. The next game, number eight, Oregon at Cal. Oregon is a 17-point favorite. They're averaging 42.4 points per game, which is 7th, and allowing 29 points per game, which is 88th. Not a good defense. Cal averages 23.3 points per game, which is 101st, and allows 22.6 points per game, which is 43rd. So Cal does have a better defense. Now, really, there's only a few things that make this upset even remotely possible. Number one, the Pac-12 curse. I think it's real. The second thing is Oregon takes Cal too lightly. They did it last year against Stanford. They could do it again against Cal. And Oregon does not have a good defense, but Cal doesn't have a good offense at all. And Cal has an average defense. Will it be enough to stop a good offense? So the actual chances of Cal upsetting Oregon, I'm going to say 10%. Not very high at all, but there's a chance. And finally, number 17, Illinois at Nebraska. Illinois is a 7.5 point favorite. Illinois averages just 26 points per game, which is 86. Not a good offense. They allow just 8.9 points per game, which is first. They have the number one scoring defense in the nation. Nebraska averages 29.7 points per game, which is 66th, and allows 31.3 points per game, which is 107th. Nebraska does have a slightly better offense than Illinois, so they have a slight advantage there. And let's not forget, Illinois. Illinois did lose to Indiana to start the season, and Indiana is a worse team than Nebraska. So I do think Nebraska has hope. It is at home. Illinois could be in for a letdown game. This could be a trap game. So the chances that I give of Illinois getting upset by Nebraska, 50-50. I think this is a 50-50 football game. So y'all let me know in the comments section, which one of these possible upsets do you think is most likely? And is there any of these possible upsets that you think actually happens? That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.